Yes sir, without a shadow of a doubt, you guys definitely deserve it. Let me say first and foremost, I apologize from the bottom of my heart for being missing for so long, everybody. I apologize to you guys, but let me just get straight to the point. Let me show y'all what's going on. This is the current state of my old HP laptop. This is my laptop that I was literally using to do my recordings on. As you can see, she in the doctor's office right now. She getting some mechanic work done. Does she get this one dead to the world right now? Hopefully, I can get it back up and running. But currently, right now, we got the new Mac up and running. The reason why it took me a little while because I had to figure out the whole system with Mac. Mac is completely different from HP. For those of you, if you know, you know. So I had to learn how to screen record and everything and get some new ops and everything, figure it out how to, you know, make sure the audio and everything's working. But we here, no long talking, great day to come. But I know I'm late, but I mean to make y'all wait. Eminem, Doomsday Part 2, shout out to my boy Lyrical Lemonade, doing the big thing. 2024 is off the hot start, cat doing the big thing. We got trending number 28, Eminem back on the scene. Any day Eminem drops is a good day, bro. So like I say, the bar monitors back up. Sorry to be late on this one, folks. I know this about two days ago, but let's get to the bars. Let's get to the beats. Let's eat. Yeah. Okay, sound a little old schoolish. I feel like I know this beat. Yeah. All right, here we go. First, I'm a shredder. Verse like I had a personal vendetta. Words come together like birds of a feather. So I need a walker like Herschel. I'm better than. All right, Eminem. I just wanted to hear how you was going with it to see if this was kind of an old Eminem track or to see if this sounded like new Eminem. This sounded like new Eminem. But the flow and the spit, the disrespect already coming off like old Slim Shady. Doomsday Part 2. Anytime you see that little in the corner with the symbol, it's an official Eminem track. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. A little under the weather. Fuck it. Yeah. All right, here we go. So feel a little under the weather. What's going on? You catching a cold? First I'm a shredder, what? verse like I had a personal vendetta yeah. Words come together like birds of a feather So I need a walker like Herschel, I'm better than all of you fucking Herschel Walker, if you don't know, you know Birds come together, you know birds of a feather They flock together, you hang around nine losers Guess who could be the 10th loser, you hang around nine winners Guess who could be the 10th winner, remember I tell you that, eh? Run, bop yeah. Words come together like birds of a feather what? So I need a walker like Herschel, I'm better than all of you fucking little twists put together yeah. But I'm not trying to be controversial, I'd rather He yeah. is a lot of Eminem is way better than a lot of y'all people's put together. If you you could put 20 of your best rappers together right now. Line up 20 of your favorite new school rappers. They don't but anybody would come after the year 2015. Any rapper who come after the year 2015, line up 20 of them. The best. And they still can't touch Eminem. I'll, I'll put Fox on that. Talking about shit with the purpose. Let's go back. Yeah. Words come together like birds of a feather what? So I need a walker like Herschel I'm better than all of you fucking little twists put together yeah. But I'm not trying to be controversial I'd rather yeah. talk about shit with the purpose that matters Like, like who had the second best verse on forever Damn. That's still a conversation Who had the second best verse on forever Who had the best verse Honestly and truly when I go back Because when I first listened to the song I was on Eminem's side But going back and having more mature airs And being able to dive deep and really listen to music but Kanye and, and Wayne, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, but it still is a toss up in the air to me between old Kanye, old Kanye had some bars, bro. Let's not sleep on Kanye, all right? Say what you want about him now. We ain't talking about this Kanye now. We talking about Kanye then. Kanye. Wayne and Kanye verse, still to me, I still just have a hard time between like who actually is the first winner off on that one. But because to me, M part was just, you can't really class it with anybody else. That's what I'm saying. So M automatically has his verse. Anybody else we were talking about in terms of that verse, you still try and decide who had the better one, Fox. Now I got a riddle. What? One condition, you mustn't go back. Gather, but I'm not trying to be controversial. I'd rather yeah. talk about shit with the purpose that matters. Like, like who had the second best verse on forever. Damn. Now I got a riddle. It's petty though. Let's talk about something that matters. <laughs> what? One condition, you mustn't laugh. Okay. What okay. is the opposite of Benzino? Uh, a giraffe. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. And I'm pretty sure a lot of. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of other reactors have the same reaction. What? No neck Benzino. What is the opposite? That's Petty Eminem. It ain't even Friday. When you dropped this, it probably was Friday because that's two days ago. So we hit the right day on the mark. Petty Fridays. <laughs> Still on your ass, Benzino. Laugh. Okay. What is the opposite of Benzino? Uh, what? A giraffe. A giraffe. Go 
with his neck, how the fuck is that? How can I go with something he doesn't have? Arms so short he can't even touch his hands when they're above his head doing jump. How could I even go with something he doesn't have? Ooh, ooh, that's mean, Eminem. I can't even go at your neck. Which is what people say in the rap industry, but I, I got for your neck, bro. I got my foot on your neck. But he ain't really got none, so what I could put my foot on? Sorry, I don't mean to upset you, Ben. When I talk about all the debt you win, wait, wait, wait. Go with something he doesn't have. Arms so short he can't even touch his hands when they're above his head doing jumping jacks. What? Eminem, how, 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 how can you be like that? I, you still, my doors, nigga, still got petty puns for Benzino Dread. 10, 15, 20 years later. What? A giraffe. Go with his neck, how the fuck is that? How can I go with something he doesn't have? Arms so short he can't even touch his hands when the up. My boy say, arms so short he can't even touch his own hands. Slim Shady, what are you doing, Slim? What are you doing, Slim Shady? What people? Why? What, why is Eminem still doing this to Benzino? J Cole, answer me. Bust up. Give me a reason why. Slim Shady, Eminem, are you so petty, bro? It's Friday. I got to talk to the wall, man. I got to talk to him on the wall for that one right there. Mud doors. His arms so short he can't even touch his own hands. I wonder if plenty of people catch that one. It's the opposite of if I know somebody who catch that, Knox probably catch that one. Zeno, what? A giraffe. Go with his neck, how the fuck is that? How can I go with something he doesn't have? Arms so short he can't even touch his hands when they're above his head doing jumping jacks. Sorry, I don't mean to upset you, Ben. When I talk about all the debt you win, I hear that you've been creeping on the low when them cheap hotels that they catch you in. Jesus Christ. Ooh, he pulling all your files, brother. One thing I love about Eminem and other rappers when it come to beef, pull files. Niggas don't be talking just off of air, but these, these is niggas who, like they say, the game said it a long time ago and he didn't understand why he said that, but he catch himself and he understood why he said Eminem shreds rappers, bro. Because when you go at people like this, they pull files, bro. Nas, they pull files. Push your T, they pull files, bro. They pull fox. You don't pull no imaginary thoughts and just bars. You win. I hear that you've been creeping on the low when them cheap hotels that they catch you in. Jesus Christ, dog. When you said you ten, never guessed you meant at the Red Wolf in a room with one single bed to mint. Shady man, you can. Yes, you can. Well, I guess then I regret to win. You could do it, Shady. Come on, let's go back to the old boy. Let's go back to the old you. Christ, dog. When you said you ten, never guessed you meant at the Red Wolf in in a room with one single bed to mint. Shady man, you can. Yes, you can. Well, I guess then I regret to win for him. You hate to spoil a day, but this doesn't bring me no joy to say. Guess that coiler rate beats in the toilet, eh? God damn it. Damage due to flows, collateral, I suppose. Got pointed like mine in Sandra Bullock. Oh, I did probably cut him a little deep with the little coiler ray interview. We remember that. We remember those and the toilet flush. We know who famous for the little putting people in the toilet, so you might as well jump in there with Jar Rule one time. The spoiler day, but this doesn't bring me no joy to say. Guess that coiler ray feats in the toilet, eh? God damn it. Damage to the floor. Oh, the coiler ray features down the toilet. So what Eminem saying is, I wouldn't mind doing a feature with coiler ray, but daddy ain't gonna let that happen. Is that what he trying to say? Daddy ain't gonna be. Boy, look here, to be honest with you, that would be the ultimate insult. Coyle Ray can't even do it because even though she would want to, and no one having Eminem on a track, even if the song, even if she don't, she could hum the fucking track. Coyle Ray could hum the fucking chorus and just let Eminem be on the track. I promise you just those two names to get in the title alone, people could click the fuck out of that. Coyle Ray and Eminem, daddy's old enemy, daddy could sit home and be like, I don't even care if the song is fire, I piss, I mad. What the fuck you doing on a track with my old enemy? Fox. No joy to say, guess that coiler rake beats in the toilet, eh? God damn it. Especially after this song, that definitely could be that. <laughs> <laughs> 
advantage due to flows Collateral, I suppose Got pointed like mine and Sandra Bullock's nose Get them bullet holes, have you full of those You'll catch a stray like animal control Plan a funeral, I'ma probably have to plan a funeral Logical exams, once again It is off into the dam Had it through my go, right toward the side Lama the psych ward because I strangled you with a mic cord because my fucking Hold on Andrew, cause my headphones can't even stay on you talking so much shit, man Eminem I suppose, got pointed like mine and Sandra Bullock's nose Get in bullet holes, have you full of those You'll catch a stray like animal Is that a little Sandra Bullock? Stray right there? I don't know, hold on To win form, you hate to spoil a day But this doesn't bring me no joy to say Guess that coiler rate beats in the toilet, eh? God damn it Damage due to flows, collateral I suppose Got pointed like mine and Sandra Bullock's nose Get in bullet holes, have you full of those You'll catch a stray like animal control Plan a funeral, I'ma probably have to plan a funeral Logical exams, once again It is off into the dam, had it room I go Right toward the psych, lum of the psych ward Because I strangled you with a mic cord Because my fucking mic The part of the rooms, the mic studio Or the, the, the it, what Eminem has always been referencing to in his videos from a long time ago, the part of the room with the straight jacket on. How much time has Eminem done been put inside one of them rooms? Cool exams. Once again, it is off into the dam. Had it room I go right toward the psych lum of the psych ward because I strangled you with a mic cord because my fucking mind's more than I'm on my Pegasus, my high horse and I'm fly. Bitch, I. My God, he getting with the logical. Fucking minds more but I'm on my Pegasus, my high horse and I'm fly. Yeah. Bitch, I soar like a sty. You probably feel like you're gonna I soar like the sky, but you get an eyesore from looking at the Eminem with the double entendres, bro. My high horse and I'm fly. Yeah. Bitch, I soar like a sty. You probably feel like you're gonna die. Yeah. Cause you're in my morgue and you're tight up like a tight score, and that's why I'm back with Cole Bennett and I been it, the level J Cole Bennett. It's aftermath that I ride for it till I I don't even know what to say to you, Benz. You know, there's nothing else. I don't think much. I don't, but I don't think you need to hear nothing else from people, baby. Bro, Eminem brought back up the whole sauce thing. That's why you're kind of little eh, now, nah, cause, baby, when it, when there's only one person, baby, there's only a very few people on one hand that you could call it, baby. They don't just destroy you, baby. They literally damage your career in some kind of way, baby. No matter how you want to say about it. The whole shit with MGK, fuck with MGK say, but he just was good enough to go over here. No, bro, we know that at the end of the day, just like M said, we don't even, it, it, don't even want to mention your name because me mentioning your name is not only going to make a, mo a mountain out of you, which is a molehill, but at the end of the day, I putting more people onto you that you didn't even have, but at the end of the day, it can kill your career at the same time. That's what Slim Shady does, but I love Eminem for that, but I... You, my nigga. You know, I, I don't think you need to hear nothing else. Whatever. Leave. If there was something that incited this, in terms of an interview, a podcast, whatever, leave Eminem alone, bro. Because as you can see, you still feeling the effects of the first one 10, 20 years ago. You want to come back and get another 30 years added on to the shit? You done getting in cheap hotels. Sit small, tell your name, call me. Call somebody else's name, bro. How you going? I, I ain't got time for that. You, you should know better, bro. I, I, you just like buy cheering. <laughs> Doing shit. Peace out to the world. Stay faithful to be grateful. Peace out.